Russia is set to build a cloning facility in an attempt to bring back extinct ancient animals in a Jurassic Park-style park. The movies from the Jurassic Park series are something to be admired, and the background story is a remarkable idea. However, should it be reality? Russia is opening a new cloning facility worth around $5.9 million that aims to recover the woolly mammoth and other extinct species that have been erased from the surface of the Earth. Plans for the world-class research center in the city of Yakutsk will be revealed by Russian President Vladimir Putin during the Fourth East Economic Forum, to be held from September 11th to 13 in the city of Vladivostok. Putin is certain that Russia has currently ensured the most comfortable conditions for attracting advanced technologies and creating new innovative industries. The advanced special economic zones of the Far East offer foreign investors tax preferences and a simplified administrative regime, with infrastructure being modernized at the government's expense. In addition of planning to bring back woolly mammoths to life, Russian geneticists are willing to study a number of extinct species, such as the woolly rhinoceros and the cave lion, both of which disappeared thousands of years ago due to a number of different factors. The cloning labs, some of which will be located underground, deep inside the permafrost soil of Yakutsk, aim to expand the current research of Russian scientists, who work closely with a team of South Korean specialists to restore the long-dead mammals. Yakutsk, the capital of the Republic of Saka, is rich in diamonds and is a hot spot for the remains of frozen animals. In fact, up to 80% of the samples of Pleistocene and Holocene animals with preserved soft tissues discovered in Russia have been unearthed in the region. As noted by experts, the DNA of ancient animals can be preserved in the frozen ground, known as permafrost, for tens of thousands of years. It is hoped that by extracting DNA from these remains, researchers will better understand the biology behind some of the larger creatures that roam the Earth. For example, woolly mammoths are thought to have coexisted with the first humans, who hunted the animal to use its bones and fangs in search of tools, shelter, and food. The animal, which could weigh a maximum of 6,000 kilograms, disappeared from its continental territory at the end of the Pleistocene era, about 10,000 years ago. However, it is believed that isolated populations survived on St. Paul Island, in Alaska, until 5,600 years ago and on Wrangell Island, in Russia, until only 4,000 years ago. According to the latest studies, woolly mammoths were most likely killed off due to a shrinking habitat caused by climate change, as well as excessive hunting. But since we obviously have a thing for woolly mammoths, several international projects, including a team from Harvard University, are already competing to use preserved mammoth DNA to resurrect the ancient species.